the passenger ferry, Queen of the North, is weaving its way through the rocky islands that line the west coast of Canada. Captain Colin Hanthorn is in command. Oh no! Somehow, the Queen of the North has hit rock. Your ferry, Queen of the North, is adrift and rapidly taking on water. The bridge crew is struggling to get a handle on the emergency, and Captain Hanthorn realizes he needs to prepare for the worst. I could see my chest moving in and out with every beat of the heart. I literally thought that I would not be able to speak, but I picked up the microphone and announced all passengers and crew to come up to deck seven. Muster stations, muster stations. Proceed to lifeboat stations on deck seven. This is no drill. Time is running out. The Queen of the North is steadily sinking lower. The water level is now high enough to start flooding in over the vehicle deck. Copy that. It's above the rubbing straight. The rubbing strake is a, uh, a band of steel that runs all the way around the ship. It's like a big bumper. OK, time to go. Once that's below the water line, that ship is doomed to sink. Commence evacuation. All right, take your life jackets, keep moving. As the situation deteriorates, efforts shift from preparing to abandon ship to actually getting 101 passengers and crew into lifeboats as quickly as possible. Keep moving. Here you go, keep moving, keep moving. One raft after another was launched. The lifeboat was launched. Less than an hour after striking a rocky island, the Queen of the North is going down. She's drifted into a deeper part of the channel and there's nothing the passengers and crew can do but watch and wait. To me, it, it seemed like more of a, a salute as she left. <laughs> 